Hello everybody, this is my brand new design in my order entry system. Basically it is a trailer manufacturing system that keeps everybody in the loop. Messages, trailers, invoices, production, you name it, it's there. So basically we'll start with this. We have 10 confirmations. Basically these are invoices that have been sent off and they need to be confirmed. So now this is where we can confirm our invoices. We can go here to the number, the model type, the model size, the dealer, and then when they confirm it, they can come over here, click confirm, and then confirm this order. If you don't want to do that, you can just get back out. These numbers automatically refresh. They're on a variable system. This view uh, for Weld Week, if the trailer has been confirmed, you can now assign a Weld Week to it. So let's just try one just for say. So we'll confirm 3755. So basically now, once we've confirmed it, we can come back over here. You still see zero. You need to go into there. And we are now at one because that is the trailer we just confirmed. Now, when we confirm it, we can issue this weld week by coming over here, clicking it, boom, boom, boom. And then when we figure out when it can be done, and that lets you know that the order has also been confirmed, and this will take you to the order. We don't want to do that. We just want to get back out and unconfirm that order. And we can do that just by going here. By the way, this layout is not complete. We are still in the process of developing a new design. All right. And so basically, here are... Now, we don't have any in there. Sorry about that. Now, we have seven trailers that are in actual production. What we do is we have our production guy. We have him go and assign every day where the invoice number is we have them assign the date that the trailer started and where it's at in current production that's updated every day and he's also able to come in here and put in what we're missing if we're missing a part he'll click that that notifies everybody that comes on to the order entry screen it says right here 3672 it's an assembly but it's missing gate material so to remove that, all he's got to do is when we get that material in, come back into his section and remove that missing gate material. And then it disappears off of the dashboard and there we have no more missing parts. So, now moving on, when every time he completes that, his, let's show you where the trailers are at. When the trailer gets completed, we'll come in here and put a date completed. And as soon as we put a date completed entry in there, that automatically sends an email to our customers to let them know that our trailer is now done and they can come pick it up. We also assign key numbers for the doors, axle numbers, so that way if we ever have problems with axles or tires, we always have the numbers there and available to us for our records for repair and warranty issues. But we don't have anything to complete, so moving on. Once the trailer is completed, we're going to come in here these are our trailers now sitting on the back lot ready to be shipped as you can see it says shipment assignments the date shipped when the trailer gets shipped we come in here and put a date that disappears off this screen and then it'll say 16 and then once we're done there we have a grand finale section for MSO and packet assignment information and basically what this does is we go in here and we tell them when did we uh, pay when did the trailer get paid for and then what did we do with the MSO packet meaning the paperwork did we send it with the driver did we put it in a trailer and then our MSO mail date this is the date that the paperwork got mailed or sent with the driver or put in the trailer so and once you've clicked all three of those and filled all three of those blanks in they have to be filled all three of them that will now finally disappear and that ends that task and we move on to the next one over and over again. What we have here is internal messages. We needed a messaging system because uh, we need to communicate better. So I've developed a new messaging system. You can delete these messages. But how do we get those? Well, I have created a site here where it says messaging broadcast system. We just go ahead and click new. We put in new message. Once we do that, all we do is click out of that field, go back to that dashboard, and it'll show new message, the one that we just did. We can now also delete that message, and it's gone. So over, over a period of time, these portals will fill up, and that's what we want. 
But basically, this is our quote and order history. We can view our invoices or our quotes. As you see, the numbers change from Q to A. A's are our quote, I mean, invoices and Q's are our quotes. Basically, it shows what the trailer number is, what it is, the dealer, when was it uh, put into the system. And now we can edit and modify and print from this one screen. If we click on the edit icon, we can now uh, go in here and revamp this trailer and change whatever we want to change update gate information nose information you name it pricing information it's all there once again the design is not complete still working on that all right and now you can print out your invoice from there as well customers it's basically the same thing I still got to finish the design to concur with this design here but anyways, if we wanted to see a customer, we can go in here, find a customer per se, and it'll pull up all their orders and all their quotes. Uh, don't want you to see the prices, but that's basically what we have, and they can you can click on it and go to that from there again. But once again, this is not complete, and then you can create a new customer. Alright, that pretty much sums it up for now. Um, there are pricing and product information. We've got all of our models, gates, mid gates, and there's multiple views here. And we don't want to save it in this view, but basically these are all the models that we have, which is quite extensive compared to other facilities. And we want to change that back. Nope. All right. And basically, there you have it in a nutshell. This is Justin's Travel Loom Order Entry System. And I thank you for your time. Bye.